These days, every streaming service wants in on live programming, especially sports. And one of the most watched sports in America, along with football, is NASCAR, which just reached a new $7.7 billion media deal that includes several exclusive races streaming on Amazon Prime Video. At the same time, there's this new NASCAR docuseries premiering on Netflix tomorrow. NASCAR, full speed. It drops all at once, so get ready for a binge. This weekend, the 2024 season unofficially starts in Los Angeles with a clash at the Coliseum two weeks before the official start of the season, the Daytona 500 on February 18th. So before things get rolling, I got to check in with NASCAR President Steve Phelps earlier. Take a look. Mr. Phelps, welcome back to Man Body. Great to be back, Jim. You guys are crushing on so many different ways. I'm not sure I should start with what's happening this weekend or this incredible deal you just leached with Amazon Prime. And I think because so many people watch Amazon Prime, why don't we go there? Because it's huge. Yeah, so we did uh, meteorite deals at the end of the year. So our incumbents, Fox and NBC, we extended with them. And then we added Amazon Prime and we added uh, Turner, Sport, or Turner Sports, WBD Sports. So. Really excited about what that will look like for us when we come into the 25 season. So, but Amazon specifically, you know, it's our first pure streamer uh, at our, you know, at our Premier Series level, our Cup Series level. Uh, we're thrilled to have them. Um, they're uh, we're great to work with, getting our deal done. Um, and again, we've now combined broadcast, cable, and streaming, or in Warner Brothers Discovery's standpoint, cable and streaming together. But we know this model's worked for Formula One. You guys have been around a lot longer. You've made a lot of money for people. But I want to know, this NASCAR full speed, could that be like the Formula One documentary that got everybody so excited? Yeah, so we're, it drops tomorrow, um, January 30th. We're super excited about it. It's uh, five episodes, uh, and it looks at the uh, last 11 races of our season, including our championship. Um, Listen, I'm super biased, but it's spectacular. Is it really? And we think that it will have the same kind of effect on the casual fan, getting people to consider NASCAR as one of their new sports. Well, tell me more about I me. Mean, are, are all five coming out? or do one Yeah, of they're we- all coming out. Uh, so you can binge tomorrow. Fantastic. And we're, we're – um, it's just fantastic. They, they're uh, – the company that did that, Words and Pictures, who produced it, they're, they're terrific. And Netflix, that was their choice for us. Um, and they did a tremendous job. And it's just, it's kind of like the F1 thing. It's visually exciting, but we've got great storylines, you know, the personality development, um, you know, and just seeing the cars on the racetrack and the crashes and all of it and as the stories so, develop. So even if you watch every single race, you're still going to think it's just a great narrative. Absolutely. That is fantastic. Now, tell me about, I watched the ads this weekend for Daytona 5. I never missed yeah. Daytona because that's how, that's how the season starts. But no, not this. you got Clash. Now, this is something for this weekend to get people's appetites wet. It is. So it's an exhibition event. So we built a track uh, inside the L.A. Coliseum. So this is actually the third year we've done it. So there's a quarter-mile racetrack in there, you know, kind of tight quarters in this, you know, iconic facility that's a century old. It's just a, it's a really neat event and a little more, um, a little more casual than the Daytona 500 where the stakes are obviously really high. But you don't mind doing street races either, do you? Well, so last year, um, last year was our first ever street race in the streets of Chicago um, with, around July 4th. And other than the biblical rain, we had seven inches of rain on that Sunday. Uh, but we got it in. It was a phenomenal event as the sun was setting over the, you know, over the skyscrapers of Chicago. The city embraced us. Uh, it was a great look for this sport. Uh, 80% of the people who purchased tickets there had never been to a NASCAR race. So it was a special race. And we're going to go back there. Uh, in July again. Well, you know, that's important because we did, we've always been close to NASCAR. We did yep. many, many years ago, we did a special with NASCAR. And it, it, it had this rural roots idea. But Chicago tells me that that's just, it's a national idea. It's not a rural roots idea. Yeah, so I, we're trying to balance things, right? So we went to North Wilkesboro last year, which is a historic track. Right. We hadn't been right. there in 30 years, which is where our all star event was. We're going to go back there as well. We have a new track. Uh, a new facility on the track, Iowa, that um, will be this summer as well. We've never raced there in our Cup Series, so the good folks from Iowa will be thrilled to have us there. And we're, uh, you know, we're trying to keep things fresh and moving. So, yes, true to you know, kind of the history of NASCAR and the DNA, but the new NASCAR also is doing things that are bold and innovative and things that haven't been done before, like the Chicago street race. We're going to do it this year without the rain, though. All right, I well, hope so. Like, I hope so. Now, you're still doing the 200-mile-an-hour uh, billboard. I mean, that is still yeah, the best way to is. connect with how many people in this country. Yeah, I mean, there's 80 million fans. Um, 
consider themselves fans of the sport. Um, we're going to build on that and build on and build on that. So our attendance is up, our ratings is up, are up. We're we're having a moment, and we just got to keep it going. I remember speaking to your advertisers. The return on investment. Now we know. Look, it's great if you get a targeted ad on Amazon. They come and they press is one thing, but just in terms of branded advertising, people always tell me it is still the single best way to get your name out there. Yeah, I think people think of a sponsorship, and it's synonymous with NASCAR. I think the reason why is because we have quality fans. It's not the quantity of fans. And quality, what I mean by that is they understand the importance of sponsorship right. to our sport. And so they support brands that support their drivers or their racetracks or NASCAR, um, and they go invest in it, right? They, they support them with their wallet. Now, because of where you are exclusively, because you had relationships with linear TV, so to speak, sure. are you surprised about an Amazon, Netflix being so interested? And is that the future? So I think it's... Uh, I don't know what the future is. Okay, that's I, good. I, I don't actually I, I, kind I, of know, good. Keep it open. So ended. linear television is super important, right? So we have yeah. broadcast, we have cable, and now we have, as I said, a, a mixture of cable and uh, and streaming from Warner Brothers Discovery. But Amazon's, from a sports standpoint, is here to stay. Um, what they've done with the NFL, obviously, what they're going to do with us, there'll be other sports properties. I'm sure that they will they will bring into the fold. They do a great job. No, um, you do a great job. I want to congratulate you. Since I've seen you last, this is amazing. And you've gone and uh, taken the next level. I'm a huge believer in streaming. I think you're going to crush it. All right? Thank you. Jim. That's Steve Phelps, president of NASCAR. Mad Money is back after the break. Coming up, pop open those umbrellas and tee up your toughest questions. Kramer takes on all comers in the lightning round. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.